Zero. Hello and welcome to day four, Peter Card in the UAE. Hello everyone, family, friends, strangers. This is day four. I know it looks just like day three, but I was lazy yesterday and didn't do day three. So that's why I'm doing day four now. So I'll be caught up so I don't fall behind and just end up stopping. I'm going to be pretty short today. I'm going to look at just two topics. Let me toggle back for a minute. Doom, 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 doom. I'm going to look at Abu Dhabi City photos, the mall, the stadium, just random pics, and then talk about medical checkup, sponsorship, and a status update on where I am. So let's go with photos. All right, this is the mall, one of the malls, Mashrif Mall. I hope I'm saying that somewhere in the vicinity of being right. Um, doesn't look like a mall from the outside. It's more like a compound. I was looking for more glass, but once you get inside, it's very nice. It's about three stories high. For some reason, every time I get to the mall, my phone dies, so I'll have to put pictures of the inside of the mall some other time. Very much like a mall that we would have. Um, differences, the food court is on the top level. A little bit different, but the food court is just like our food court. Same restaurants, just a little bit more variety. Then it has maybe a um, grocery store, which sometimes you don't see in the mall, but everything else is pretty much the same. This is a university, Khalifa University. These are just random shots. So we were on the way to do the medical checkup from the bus that we took in. I was telling my wife, there has to be at least about 30 different skyscrapers that are all being put up at the same time. It's amazing. I go to Atlanta and I see the work that's being done, but I don't think that even compares to how much is being done at one time here. This is a soccer stadium and the practice fields outside for their soccer team. Another shot, and this is the building that we actually went into to do the medical checkup. The tall building is actually right there connected to the stadium. And there are the school buses that are outside in the parking lot next to the stadium. Different sizes, still yellow. Another shot of the buses. And this is the view once we got inside to do the medical checkups as we were waiting in line. You can see the buses are down there at the bottom. There's a pretty large metropolitan area, but you can see there's also some places that's just still flat desert sand. So it's even though it's a uh, growing area there's still a lot of room for growth and just another view of the city and a zoom in of some and all the buses that were in the parking lot you appreciate how many that were a little better here and then that was just the view once I got back on the bus all right that's it for the picture section so we'll come back out of that. All right, so the topic as far as people that are interested in coming over today was medical checkups. And at the same time, I'll talk a little about sponsorship. So you just can't show up in the UAE and say, hey, I want to live in the UAE. You can get a visitor's visa where you can come and stay for 30 days, but then you got to get out. If you're planning to come and work or stay longer, you have to have someone sponsor you. So let's say, for instance, that uh, I wanted a um, maid or something like that to clean up my apartment, which you'd be surprised. A lot of people do that, even just regular people like me, um, because for some countries that people come from, what we may not think of as, of as a whole lot of money may be more money in their um, country. So somebody will come over and say, OK, I will be your nanny or your maid or your butler or your liaison and you sponsor them which basically means you take all the responsibilities for bringing them over so the teachers here we are sponsored by the abu dhabi education council they're our sponsor that's why they walk us through the medical clearance um setting up bank accounts um getting us housing, getting us an entry visa, your sponsor kind of handles those things for you. 
Um, and if you don't pass the medical checkup, pretty much you have to you have to go back home. Um, so that's what we were doing today is our medical checkups. Um, it's quite a long process, um, but not. But once you get through the line, I mean, it doesn't take ten minutes to do the whole medical checkup. Um, so let's see. Besides that, I think at the top it was just my status update. Um, I'm still a reserve, which means I haven't been placed in a school yet. Um, I'm not quite sure of the region because I, I went and signed my contract today and it had some things that weren't quite the same as my placement letter that said I was reserved. So I'm not sure exactly which region I'm in at this point now also. But I do have a job. It's just a question of when and where will I start. So just cool with me. So I still just go through this week, the process of getting everything set up um, in terms of bank accounts, phones, medical checkup, um, identification card. It's just, I don't know when I will have an apartment. But other than that, everything is cool. So short video today, that's it. If you want to ask a question, you can email me at wizkidsadbs at gmail.com or you can put it in the comments section of YouTube or you can put a message on Facebook. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.